Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Nev's Garage. If this is your first time joining us, make sure you hit that old subscribe button and also toggle on that little bell. That way you'll be notified when our next video drops. Until then though, got a real good video for you in store today. I'm gonna to be taking a look at our Fisher & Parker washing machine again. Now recently we rebuilt the uh, pretty much the whole inside of it. We put all new dry bearings in it, new drum seals, and um, she's going really well, top notch unit. But um, one thing that these machines suffer with is the old out of balance alarm. You put a load in, gets almost finished, and you get the old uh, and uh, it's pretty damn annoying. So we're going to be doing a bit of a preventative mod to this today and um, making it work a lot better and reducing the chance of it actually throwing an alarm. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so let's slide our machine out so we've got a bit of room to move with it. Like that. Just going to unplug it from the wall. Safety first. Okay, now we're just going to take the top case off, so we just flick a little rubber bump stops out of here. Out they come. Now these two screws down from the top. Take them out as well, and then top just hinges up. Like that. Can't take it all the way, but you can take it most of the way up. Right, so what we're going to do is we might uh, just hook this back to the taps, I think, to hold it up. A right, couple of old coat hangers normally get used for painting. Now we can see the inside of our machine. So, this pretty much is the machine inside the box. Now it's going to differ a little bit on the clearance you have if you've got a, a bigger capacity machine. This is a 5 kilo, so there is quite a bit of space between the drum and the casing. Okay, now the whole drum and the drive assembly and everything just kind of floats around. That's what causes the out of balance alarm to go off. because your garments go to one side of the drum, and when she starts spinning, she wobbles around like a good old bowl of aeroplane jelly. Right, and what it does, if it wobbles around enough, it hits this little switch, and it tells the onboard computer that, guess what, she's out of balance, and it throws that code. So, what we're going to do is look at stabilising the drum a little bit better. Alright, so you'll see that all it really got to stabilise this drum is this little coil spring here, which is tied back to one of the suspension rods. Okay, so I reckon with a little bit of Nev's Garage ingenuity we can stable this drum up a little bit more by adding a couple more springs tying it back to these suspension rods. So let's check it out. What we're going to do is just pop off this top cap. Real easy to do, here we go. All right, cool. Really nothing under here to mess up, so. Just gonna sit that back down where it clips on and get our inks all. And mark a spot there, mark a spot there. Right, now with that 2 mil drill bit, just going to drill a couple of holes in here. Alright, so I'm just going to unhook this spring. Now 
Now what I've done is just cut two little bits of 1.6 mil steel rod and I'm going to drop them down into here as a brace for the spring so it doesn't pull out through the side of the plastic. Okay. So I'm just going to put a bit of super glue down in that groove first, just so they don't ever fall out, and drop them down in there. Like that. Now I've got a couple of springs, which I reckon will work pretty well. We'll see. So I'm just going to straighten them out a little bit like that. Up through there. And out through the side like that. Just crimp them back up a bit, like that, cool, that's one. All right, same thing. Okay, one in there, there's a close up. Two in there, another close up. Grab our original spring which has fallen down the suspension rod. Hooking back on. Like that. Now we're just going to clip our top back on. Make sure it's all, then we're just going to hook our springs onto our suspension rods like that. Okay, you can already feel that it's more stable. All right, so let's uh, put the top back on. Need to pop the switch back up there. All right, guys. Well, that drum's a lot more stable now, and it's going to take a lot more out of balance action to throw that alarm off and stop the machine mid cycle. So once again save some money on replacing the machine which is more money spend on car parts that's what we want so thanks for tuning in as always to my channel here and uh, thanks for liking subscribing and sharing and uh, as always jump on our Instagram make sure you follow us there for behind the scenes shots anywho I'm Nev this is my garage See you next time.